In this whole creation, we are just a small speck. Each one of us is in search of good health, peace, knowledge, prosperity, harmony, and overall a happy and blissful life at all given times and situations. Each and every person strives hard to achieve this state. But can this really be achieved? Yes, this can be achieved. All this is possible only by understanding cosmic energy and self-knowledge. Now let us know about cosmic energy. The cosmic energy exists everywhere in the cosmos. It is the bond between the galaxies, the planets, humans and molecules. It is the space between each and everything. It is the bond which keeps the whole cosmos in order. Cosmic energy is the life force. This cosmic energy is essential to maintain the order of our life and to expand our consciousness. Cosmic energy is the base for all our actions and functions. We receive some amount of cosmic energy in deep sleep and in total silence. We are using this energy for our day-to-day -day activities of our mind like seeing, speaking, hearing, thinking and all actions of our body. This limited energy gained through sleep is not sufficient for these activities. That is why we feel exhausted, tired and tensed. This leads to mental and physical stress and all kinds of illnesses. The only way to overcome this is to get more and more cosmic energy. Cosmic energy is essential to maintain the order of our life, to lead a healthy and happy life to totally involve in all situations we are in, to obtain knowledge and finally for expansion of our consciousness. Abundant cosmic energy is obtained only through meditation. Sleep is unconscious meditation. Meditation is conscious sleep. In sleep we get limited energy. In meditation we get abundant energy. This energy enhances the power of our body, mind and intellect. It opens the doors for our sixth sense and beyond. With this boosted energy through meditation, we will be relaxed, healthy and happy. It also helps to reach greater heights in the physical realm. Meditation is nothing but a journey of our consciousness towards the self. In meditation, we consciously travel from body to mind, mind to intellect, 
intellect to self and beyond. To do meditation, first we have to stop all the functions of our body and mind, that is, body movements, seeing, speaking and thinking. Now, let us know how to do meditation. For meditation, the first thing is the posture. You may sit in any posture. The posture must be very comfortable and stable. We can meditate either on a floor or on a chair. We can meditate in any place wherever we feel comfortable. Sit comfortably, cross your legs, clasp your fingers. Now close your eyes. Stop inner or outer chatter. Don't chant any mantra. Just relax. Totally relax. Just relax. When we cross our legs and clasp our fingers, energy circuit is formed and gives more stability. Eyes are doors of the mind, so eyes should be closed. Mantra chanting or any chattering inner or outer are the activities of the mind so it should be stopped when body relaxes consciousness travels to the next zone mind and intellect mind is nothing but a bundle of thoughts there are numerous thoughts always coming to the surface of the mind. Whenever there are thoughts in the mind, we may get many questions, known or unknown. To transcend the mind and intellect, one has to observe the breath. Observation is the nature of the self. So, one should just witness the breath. Don't do conscious breathing. Don't inhale or exhale consciously. Let inhalation or exhalation happen on its own. Just observe the normal breathing. This is the main key. This is the way. Don't go behind the thoughts. Don't cling to queries, questions or thoughts. Cut the thought. Come back to the breath. Observe normal breathing. Be with your breath. Then the density of the thoughts reduces. Slowly breath becomes thinner and shorter. Finally, breath becomes the smallest and settles like a flash in between the eyebrows. In this state, one will have no breath 
and no thought. He will be totally thoughtless. This state is called Nirmal Stiti or no thought state. This is the meditative state. In this state, we will be under the shower of cosmic energy. The more meditation one does, the more will be the cosmic energy one receives. This cosmic energy flows through the energy body. It is also called the etheric body. The energy body forms with more than 72,000 nadis or energy tubes which runs all across the body. All these energy tubes start from the top of the head region. This region is called Brahmarandra. These nadis spread throughout the body like roots and shoots of a plant. The energy body is the main base for the design of our life. This energy body is the main source of all our actions and even our existence. Our energy body receives cosmic energy during deep sleep and meditation. We are using this energy for our body and mind activities like seeing, speaking, hearing, thinking and all physical actions. All these functions are totally based on the incoming cosmic energy. The inflow of cosmic energy is purely based on our thoughts. When we have thoughts, the inflow of cosmic energy is obstructed. In other words, our thoughts are the stumbling blocks for the inflow of cosmic energy. When the inflow of cosmic energy is less, the energy in the energy tubes depletes. This depletion causes etheric patches in the energy body. These etheric patches gradually lead to diseases in the physical body. In other words, root cause for all diseases is the lack of energy in the etheric body. In meditation we get abundant cosmic energy. It flows through all our energy tubes of the energy body. When cosmic energy is passing through energy tubes because of its heavy flow it cleanses all etheric patches. When etheric patches are cleansed, we come out of all our illnesses. When energy starts flowing through the Brahma Randra, we feel heaviness 
in the head region or heaviness of the whole body. When energy is cleansing the energy tubes in a particular region, we may get itching sensation or pain in that region. Sometimes we may experience pain in various places in the physical body. For these pains, we need not take any medicine. All these pains will vanish by doing more meditation. By intake of more and more cosmic energy through meditation, we come out of all physical and mental illness. Hello friends, this is Parnita Patri and I am here to announce a global initiative by Pyramid Spiritual Society's movement which was founded by Ramashri Pita Mahapatriji in 1992. Since the last 30 years, Patriji has been incessantly, constantly and tirelessly working to spread meditation and plant-based food in the world. So what is the global initiative that I'm talking about? It's called SWAG, my dear friends. Save water and go green. We are here on the verge of huge climate changes, droughts, famines, earthquakes, deforestation, pollution, and cruelty towards animals, etc., etc., etc. So we as humans have taken so much from nature that it is time now to give back to nature. How? By saving water and going green. The project or the global initiative is called SWAG, my dear friends. S-W-A-G-G. -G. Save water and go green. Because every drop of water is precious and we need water to survive. We take water for granted and have wasted and, and still wasting every day every hour every minute and every second the time has come now to check our habits and lifestyle to see if we are wasting our very 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 precious natural resource water and the next part is go green there are three reasons and three aspects in going green my dear friends the first one is to encourage and inspire everyone to adapt a plant-based diet and the second one is to grow your own food. You can grow your own vegetables. You can grow your own fruits in your rooftop garden, in your balconies, in your home, anywhere that you want. And the third one, my dear friends, to take a plantation wherever and whenever you can. Plantation works, my dear friends. And plant trees and encourage everyone to plant trees in their own neighborhoods, homes, schools, offices, colleges, etc., wherever and whenever you can. So, my dear friends, are you swag enough to swag? Join the team to make a difference and give back to nature. Let's save Mother Earth for ourselves and our children and our grandchildren. Let's do this. Let's swag. Thank you very much. Namaste.
friends. Let's begin today's day with yet another beautiful meditation. I request all of you to sit comfortably. Prepare yourself to go into this beautiful journey, the journey within. For this journey to be smooth, we can choose any comfortable place. Sit comfortably there. Interlock your fingers. Close your eyes. Gently. And now, just be with your breath. Your natural, simple, free flowing breath. Whatever was happening, was happening. Now, the only work in hand is to simply observe, simply be with our natural breath. The breathing is simply happening to us. Let's come to complete non doership and flow with life. The breathing is simply happening. We have to just witness it, experience it, be with it. There is no other agenda. Tell your mind. Every other thing can be done later. Now it's time for the journey inwards. It's time just to be. The time to walk on the most special journey.
every thought, every emotion, every feeling take a back seat. It's time for only being with your breath. Experience a complete vacuum. It's only you and your breath. Nothing outside.
life is about the journey within. It's about expanding oneself. Just be with your breath.
spread is a process which is happening on its own to us. We did not do anything. Just be a witness. Witness, observe, experience its natural process. And it will take you deep, deep within yourself.
Be present to your breath, to yourself. Keep witnessing.
you are vast, infinite. Just being with your breath, you can access that infinite self. Right now, right here, just be with your breath. Just be with your breath. And gradually, we prepare ourselves to come back to the feeling, to the experience of this body. Very gently. Feel yourself back in this body. And whenever you are ready, you can cover your eyes with your palm. And being totally present to the process, feeling yourself very gently, you can open your eyes within your palm. And come back. Wonderful friend, congratulations to each one of you. You are always a new one after such a deep meditation. Every meditation is like a rebirth. It's like renewable. You renew yourself, see a new self.
Thank you so much. So friends, today uh, we are going to talk a little about acceptance. This is one of my favorite topics. And this is the greatest gift which I have received from spirituality. It's about flowing with life. You know, uh, as we grow up, we feel we have to do so much. Since childhood, we have been trained, Aisa karoge. if you do like this, then this is going to happen. This is going to happen. Every time we have been attached to our doership, which says whatever is happening is because of your deeds, because of your actions. Yes, it is there. But it, you know, it has another effect too. We tend to control everything. And whatever is not happening according to what we have thought creates a lot of stress, a lot of turmoil, non-acceptance. So uh, I felt that this breath, which keeps us going in this life, the very base of life, this is happening on its own. We are nothing without this. Such a big phenomena is happening, but we have nothing to do about it. It is happening on its own. Then why do we want to control so much in our life. Can we just let go? So from here, the acceptance came in. It stepped into my life. And I would like to share what I understood with each one of you today. So allow me to share my screen. Give me a minute. So friends, we are human beings. What we, we often hear people saying, we are the most evolved ones. We then think, we feel, we act. Humans are so different from other animals. But this human being, somewhere we have left the being self behind. What do this word, what does this word being mean? If we just break it, it is be in. Just be in. Can we do that? Can we just experience life as it's happening to us? And keep enjoying. We do our work. We do our kartavya. We do our karmas. What we feel like being. We participate in life. But we don't attach too much meaning to the past and to the future, to the result. We have read so much about it in Gita. Karmanya vadikaraste ma faleshu kadachana. Ma karma phalehe turhu. So friends, can we be a performing or doing or enjoying our work with complete acceptance of what it brings? It will make us more open. So I really felt that it was difficult initially because whenever I was doing something, I had a preset notion in my mind about the results it should bring. I would always evaluate the ifs and cons and the pros and cons and how much gain I'm getting out of it. And if the, 
gain was not according to me, it would make me upset. So I evaluated what was stopping me from just being, just being in this state. And what I found was my mind. This mind was an instrument, was a tool given to human to explore the world. Yes, to act in the world, but somewhere we got caught. We were started being used by our mind, rather we using our mind. Whatever the mind said, we would keep thinking. And you know, it was found 99.99% we were in our past or we were in our future. We were not in this present, this moment. The mind which talks of only what it knows. Do you think your mind knows everything? But we would analyze a moment. We would analyze everything with our limited perspective, with whatever little this mind knows. So friends, I wanted to break this barrier. And when I broke this barrier, I found it was easy to be happy. You can just be happy. But the mind says, no, you can be happy only when this is there. When this is there, when these situations are fulfilled, then you can be happy. And can anybody raise their hand and tell me, yes, whatever situation I wanted was always there. And that is where hence I was always happy. No. Life unfolds in its own beautiful way. And that's the most perfect way for the growth of the soul. But we tend to overlook the bigger picture. We are so focused with the smaller picture, the smaller mind the picture which the mind wants to show us, and then we get disturbed. So it definitely doesn't let allow us to be happy. But I wanted to be happy every moment. So I found the secret. The secret was acceptance. I found the real mastery was the ability to stay present to whatever life brings. Trust. You know, I made this the mantra. Whatever happened, happened for good. Whatever happens, happens for good. And whatever will happen will be the best thing. So there was no more worries. So friends, why one should have acceptance towards everything? Let's look a little deeply into this. I will just talk a little bit with each point. Improves the ability to deal with situations in life. So friends, when you are in acceptance, your entire energy, there is a situation to handle. You Use all your energy to handle that situation. But what your mind does or what is the conditioning is first we think we become sad, we become, you know, anxious. Ye, how can this happen to me? This was not in the plan. This was not in the plan. So all our energy, you know, we lose out there, which energy can be used to handle that situation, move ahead, use our mind to move ahead out of it if we don't want to be in that situation. So a lot of energy is released when we become free from this excessive useless thinking of why it is happening to us. This answer would never be received. You will never get an answer to why. And there is no need actually. There is so much to enjoy and explore in this moment and become, you know, take from that moment. 
So then happiness becomes your journey and happiness is no more the destination. Because it is no more in your mind that, okay, when these situations are fulfilled, then I will be happy. It is a path of conscious living, friends. You will find yourself awakened, present in this moment because life is happening in this moment. Life is not about yesterday or tomorrow. And we have all learned this in the last few, few years. Life is just about this moment. How much can you be in this moment? And friends, I found an, another beautiful gift when I brought acceptance in my life. That was the ability to give and receive love unconditionally. It's about loving. It's about being love. We often think our relationships, we have to receive so much. We have to give so much, but it is about just being that. The more you are present to this moment with complete acceptance, the more you are able to love unconditionally, receive unconditionally. And then stepping into the quantum field of infinite opportunity, friends. Our mind tells us, gives us a very limited perspective that only this is good for you. This is good for you, whatever we have learned. We can just think from that angle. But we are when we are in acceptance, a whole field of infinite opportunity opens. When we are open to growing and learning and enjoying each and every moment with complete acceptance, your opportunity to grow becomes infinite. Every small bit, you will feel there is so much depth in it, so much to understand, so much to grow you will become the greatest book of your life. You will, I really found, I, I did a lot of reading. I am doing, I enjoy reading. But you know, somewhere it was, I can just grow through reading. This was also the concept I got in my mind. But when this concept of acceptance walked in, I found that there is so much to learn in every moment, the moment you are available. To yourself with complete acceptance. That's the biggest teacher. And yes, peace, joy, and bliss, which we are all seeking outside, inside, through meditation, through so, so much. We are doing so much. This can be your reality every moment. Actually, this is the true journey. The journey is whatever is happening. We can be in peace. We can experience joy and bliss here and now, every moment. I think this is what for me is moksha. This is what for me is freedom, completion, and the path the straight path to it is acceptance. So how do we do that? You will say it is so difficult. Yes, it is. It is difficult because your mind will create challenges for you. But I have few steps which we can use, which we can inculcate. Remember, Nothing real can be threatened. We often become anxious because we think we our existence is threatened. Our ego, our identity. What is an ego? Ego is the identity which we have developed as Radhika, as speaker, as a spiritual master, as a mother, as a daughter, as a sister, as a brother, whatever. Whenever that ego which you have identified with is threatened, which says, the, oh, if this doesn't happen, this identity will not exist. We become anxious. Friends, this is all short-lived. 
you are real joy you are happiness which will never be you which cannot end we are all eternal so that can never be threatened always remember this at the background you know i always tell my friends that have a background thought however anxious you are however worried you are keep this background thought i am limitless be deeply rooted just like a tree in this thought nothing real can be threatened stop seeking your identity from these you know the ones which went an end let's always remind ourselves who we are the real one always remember yourself as the tree deeply rooted yes friends and this exercise really helped me give away the desire to label everything you know whatever is happening we tend to label it as good bad desirable non desirable so many things we you will find that every little thing our mind just comes in it wants to show its presence oh this is an apple oh this is a computer oh this was a zoom session every time we have something to the mind has something to say let's experience things in this vast empty space you know everything everything that we can see feel experience is just 1% of who actually we are in this vast limitless space sometimes yes using your senses also being in your senses doing your work every day like just find one second five seconds to become aware of that empty space in which everything is happening that vast space is so infinite it is that all your worries all your anxiety all your non acceptance will just dissolve in it and you will be what you are actually really that vast infinite space you know you can start with doing this simple exercise just look at things find 2 minutes in a day where you just look at an object and try not to label it anything a pen a book anything which comes in front of you just look at it just experience it just be in the presence of people when you are with people often we tend to you know get into our roles of a boss a mother a father wife husband try to just just be in a space a common space with them sometimes when you're just sharing a common space you will feel there will be so much acceptance there are so many relationships of which we say oh i just can't stand this man i just can't stand this but whenever you are in such a situation when you feel you just can't stand it just become aware of the empty space in which you and that person is existing surrender this i have been talking about surrender do your work enjoy it experience it move on move on yes so this will be your world now the world of no problems hakuna matata this is my favorite concept friends no problem consciousness jo hoga dekha jayega hum fikr ko dhue mein udate chale gaye there is really no need you know friends we become over indulgent over analytical
be involved fully with life, but not with the result it brings. Can we try doing it? You know, when something happens, we what we do is, Achha, I, because I did this, this has happened. We always try to make connections, always. So let's, let's see it. Let's, you know, end the equation of equality. No, no equals to. It had to happen, so it has happened. The more, you know, the more you make these linkages, the more you become indulgent in this life process and the more you become indulgent, the more you open the doors for anxiety, anger, jealousy, pain. So this is again just the recap of the points we discussed. If you want to read through once again, you can do it. I will be sharing the PPT in the group again. You can read through that. Yes, friends, you know, we have been hearing so many people about talking big, big stories. Oh, spirituality is so difficult. Somewhere we feel it is such a difficult journey. Life is such a difficult journey. But this little word, acceptance, You will feel if we just work on this, it makes things simpler, life simpler. There'll be nothing big to achieve because you're already there. You're already the biggest thing that can ever exist. You are that. But it is we, we are just limiting ourselves to what we are seeing. This is me. The mind says, no, this is the limited place you are. But when you become acceptable, open, non-resistant to everything. You open yourself to your limitless self, your real self. And I want to welcome each one of you to this beautiful self, this infinite self, happy living, happy enjoying. Thank you so much, friends. Yes, I would love to answer any of the questions if you have or if anything anybody wants to share, add on. That was a really wonderful um, presentation, Radhika. And I'm, I'm listening to you for the first time. And you're, you're amazing. Seriously, you're amazing. So, um, yeah, acceptance is very, very, very important. And we try to control many things. I mean, we need to do what we need to do, but then expecting that we can have control of something or, or on some people or on some events or on anything is um, not acceptable. So that's why we need to have acceptance. <laughs> so, um, see, whatever happens, happens. And we always say that whatever happens is for our good. But do we really believe that? We say that. But do we really, really believe that? Somewhere in our in our in our heart, in our mind, there is something which doesn't accept things as it is, as they are. It can be different. It can be the way I like it. It can be this. It can be that. So we have that expectation of from some from people, from events, from what is happening to us. So yeah, as you said, the mind. The mind is the one who says that, you know, I can control this. The ego says that you can control this. The soul is always ever accepting. So that is why uh, meditation is there with us. 
to bridge the gap between the personality and the soul. So be, to, from becoming the controlling one to the accepting one. So I think that bridging happens through meditation. And thank you so much for enlightening us about that concept called acceptance. We need to remind ourselves over and over and over that, you know, guys, just let go. Just, just ease yourself off. So that's, that's a beautiful thing that you have said today. And thank you so much for coming here and sharing us, sharing with us your knowledge and you're doing a great job with what you're doing with your foundation and you're doing great service to humanity. Thank you for doing what you're doing. And we would love to be a part of everything that you're doing. And we are all here in this together as a team. So just love what you're doing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, friends. Good morning. Radhika ji, even I'm listening to you first time and I think you know her. <laughs> yeah, Radhika ji. She's my man mentor. I've learned meditation from her only during the time of COVID. So she's my first guru. I can say, and I really, and always I'm appreciating you and having heartfelt um, uh, feelings for you. <laughs> always, it's very nice to see you. I've come to Tejal's place. Um, Even for a surprise, Dr. Ranjan yeah, is also so, here. Yeah, wow. I've come to that place. Today they have the so, Mumbai three days, they have the, you know, spreading the meditation and the PSSM to all. Yes. So, and yeah. really nice to see Parinita, ma'am. You have come to our uh, own group, Atma Jagrati, if you remember. So that was nice. And it's very nice to see you again. And I'll also try to join this because other otherwise we are having another session of Bhagavad Gita in PMC Gujarat at this time. So by eight, it's really, by eight a.m. Yes, by 8 and before that we have meditation. So I'm big she busy actually day. conducts the meditation every day on PMC Gujarat, and uh, later on the uh, like you know discourse of Bhagavad Gita, Doctor Ranjan, and she handles very well. And she actually made us you know our no. life transforming. Everyone is coming, inspiring others. Like, yes, all eternal coming from that higher self. So. You always inspire, and we get inspiration from Sakti and all the masters we have. We have uh, great masters in PSSM. So we inspire, I mean, we get inspiration from all of them. And my regards to all of them. Thank you. I and just wanted to say when you are saying about it's a it's a really wonderful session about acceptance. I uh, always see, like, you know. Those certain things, you know, we don't like to get changed. We are not accepting the change is constant. And this is how, you know, uh, when you say that in the space, when you go, just observe, don't judge it, don't uh, tag it. And just be in that accepting mode. And that's a wonderful thing. What you have shared, I loved it. So thank you so much for this beautiful session. And every day, actually, we are experiencing something or there, you know, certain things are not in our hand. I have seen in my life certain, like, you know, the death of certain close relatives and there was a pattern and I was not able to accept that thing. And because of that grief, I had paid with my health also in 2017, 2019. But since I worked upon, I worked upon my emotions and the changes, and I was ready to accept that it's just a death. It's not, it's, it's not the death of a soul. It's just death of a body. And thanks to PSSM, Patriji, and all the masters. Thank you from my heart for this beautiful session, Radhika Ji, today. Thank you.
Uh, so shall we end the session here? Yes. Uh, yeah. Thank you so so much, Radhika ji, for the wonderful uh, topic which you have uh, explained us today. You know the acceptance, and uh, even I'm going to uh, you know implement today not to label anything, any situation, whatever comes, just be an observer. This is my take from uh, today's session. You know immense gratitude for this and the hard work which uh, you must have done behind this uh, topic uh, is like wonderful. So if uh, no questions are there, uh, we will close for the day and uh, see all masters tomorrow at 6.30. Do join in for another uh, interesting topic which is mirror work and uh, have a divine day everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Akka, Parinita, uh, would you like to Say something. Would you like to add something? Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. We are closing for the day. Thank you, everyone.